Hi guys, how's it going? Vaibhav Sasanthi here. In this video, I want to talk about LinkedIn recommendations. Well, what are LinkedIn recommendations? These are the LinkedIn recommendations. When some when when someone writes an actual recommendation for you on LinkedIn, they are basically called LinkedIn recommendations. Now, since it's a growth hacking course, am I going to talk about the way to automate this? Absolutely not. Because LinkedIn recommendations has to be as personal as possible because in LinkedIn recommendations, they, people don't look for 100 recommendations. People look for 10 good recommendations. These are vouchers from people saying, you know shit, right? You know the stuff that you're talking about. So I would like, if I'm a person, I would like to read 10 to 15 recommendations, but all of them talking about your skills rather than some random stuff. When it comes to skills, it's easier to automate these things. But when it comes to recommendation, Automation is just not possible. The reason being people who write a recommendation for you should know you in and out. For example, let's run through people who have given me recommendations. I've just started working on getting recommendations to be very frank. Jay is a guy who attended one of my growth hacking workshops and, he's, and he talks really highly about me. And Natalia is someone who has, who, has been who has been taking a lot of my growth hacks, taking my help with growth for a startup. So she has written a right, nice recommendation for me. In fact, Natalia has taken this course, so there's a good chance, Natalia, hi. Thank you for the recommendation. Ms. Santosh Panda is one of my uh, very old connections. He runs this amazing startup called as Explara and have and I have helped Explara in multiple ways on the digital marketing front and growth hacking front. So he wrote me a recommendation, right? No one is again someone who attended a workshop of mine. Sri Ram is someone who I've worked with directly. Uh, Sri Ram Davi is, was a client of mine. Uh, again, uh, this Sri Ram is basically a founder of Link. Saurabh is someone who I've worked with in my past and Sion is someone who I've worked in the past. So all the recommendation, recommendations that I have on my LinkedIn profiles are from people who are really legit and who have worked directly with me at least once in, in the past, right? So these are the kind of recommendations that I would recommend you guys to have too. That is, if someone reaches out to Noman or Santosh Panda sir, uh, and asks them about me, they should be able to wow for me like they did in this recommendation it should not be the case that they have written something based on what you have sent them and they don't even remember who you are right i stick to i i mean i follow the same principle when it comes to giving out recommendations again you can see that uh, mother is someone there are six recommendation requests but i have not given it to everybody mother is someone who has worked with me in the past saikiran has someone again who have worked with in the past raghuveer yashwan chaitanya sushan anu all these people who have given recommendations to are people who have worked in the past now how do how can you request for recommendation let's say you have worked with a specific client how do you request for a recommendation you click on ask for a recommendation and basically search for the person who you want to be recommended by right it's as simple as that you just type out the name let's say i want a recommendation from travis i just i just type his name okay travis doesn't come up let's say i want a recommendation from dara again recommendations only work when you're directly connected with that specific person right let me let me look for my friend vinith there you go you can see that i can tap on this i can see the relationship uh let's say vinith uh and we work together so i can say vinith uh, uh vinith reported me directly and the position where reported me and I can click on next and I can write a nice sweet message and hit the send right this would go go him as a request of recommendation and I would strongly suggest this would be this should be the only way you can build up recommendation but well since it's a growth hacking course I have a I have a hack for this listen this course would be taken up by hundreds of people and all the hundreds of people would want recommendations together so anyways towards the end of the course I would or I would be adding you guys to a Facebook group where you could easily exchange recommendations. But again, right, this would just bloat up the number. The recommendations won't make any sense. So I would strongly recommend to keep the recommendations uh, from people who you know and who you have actually worked with. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching the video.